Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. Uh, this is a five minute video uh, on HTML. We're gonna go over the uh, HTML uh, building blocks. We're gonna go over uh, each element. We're gonna do that one video at a time and hopefully kind of get into some of the details of each element. Uh, if you wanna see how to put those elements together, we have another series that's called HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Go check it out. There is an introduction video to the series. If you haven't gone through that video, go ahead and do that real quick and then come back to this one. Uh, it's going to help you set up a template folder. We're going to use that template folder in this lesson. Uh, and in this lesson today, we're going to go over the heading and body tag. So are you guys uh, ready to get started? All right, let's get to it. Okay, so... Uh, from the first video, you should have a Coding Zoo CSS folder on your desktop. Um, you may have named it something differently. So that's the folder that has an index.html file in it, uh, a JS folder, and a CSS subfolder in it. Uh, in that CSS subfolder, we also added the style sheet. So that's kind of our template. Let's go ahead. I'm going to copy that folder. So I'm going to my desktop. I'm going to right click on that folder and I'm going to do uh, copy. I'm going to press Control V to paste it. So now I have a new copy of that folder. I'm going to rename it. I'm not going to show you this every time, but you want to do this each lesson. So you, so for each lesson, you'll have a copy of that work uh, and you can go back and use that for a reference. And you might want to put these folders into another subfolder. So in the end, you're going to have quite a few subfolders, one for each lesson. Okay. So I'm going to call that, we're going to go over HTML today. So I'm going to call it coding. I'm going to call it CS for coding uh, C Z rather for coding zoo and I'm going to do uh, a dash and HTML press enter. So that's the copy of my folder right there. C Z dash HTML to go inside of that. Now in my other uh, series, we've uh, installed uh, notepad plus plus. That's the program I'm going to be using. Uh, I'll put a link down to that playlist that shows you how to, I mean, to that video that shows you how to install it if you want to install it. Uh, if you don't want to use that, if you're in Windows, you can just uh, use Notepad, um, regular Notepad. So right click on the index.html file and choose uh, edit with Notepad++ uh, or Notepad, or in Notepad's case, you'd choose open with Notepad. I'm going to choose edit with Notepad++, click on that. All right, so now I have my notepad plus plus open here's the html basically the the base template we created in the first the introduction video so let's just talk about this a little bit uh we're not actually going to create any new tags today we're just going to go over what we have so far so it's very so it's very clear what this is so the first tag here is your html tag so the html tag is basically think of it as your main tag it's your parent tag it's the beginning and the end of your document. So um, HTML stands for Hypertext Modeling Language. Um, it's basically uh, a modeling language for sending data across the internet. Think of it that way. All right, so a HTML element consists of two tags, a beginning tag, like this HTML beginning, and a closing tag, like this end tag at the end here. So the opening, Close tag, beginning, end tag, same thing. So an element's made up of two um, tags. Okay, now if you look at this heading here, heading, uh, or rather head, this head element, which is in, which is a child, it's inside your HTML el uh, element. Uh, this is where you put metadata. This is where you describe information about your document. You might put um, a title, so that the browser will know what your document's called. Not the user, but the browser. So somebody, not somebody viewing your document, but the browser itself. So you might add a title element into the head, which is metadata. So title's metadata telling the browser uh, what you know the document is. And you might add, like we did here, a link element, which points to styles that are used against this HTML document. So the head again basically um, this has metadata that describes and is used with the HTML document. So that's what the head is for. Next we have the body. The body is where you put the actual data 
and the, and the HTML elements that are used to describe the data. That's what the user actually sees. So that's what the body is all about. It's the core of the, of the web page. So real quick, um, let's talk about this link tag. So if you notice this link tag points to a, another file in a subfolder called CSS. If you look at the href there, it says href equals CSS style dot CSS. Okay, so um, the REL, the type, and the href, these are called attributes. They're attributes of an HTML element. So uh, an attribute is just an extra property that describes or tells that element what to do. So in this case, uh, with this REL attribute on link, I am telling the link HTML element that I want to have a, a relationship with another file. I want to link, I want to link this document. I want to relate to another file that's a style sheet. This is the cascading style sheet. So if I go over to this attribute here, type, well, type is saying, well, what are you linking to? What type of file are you linking to? I'm linking to a text file and also it contains CSS, cascading style sheet uh, classes. And then finally we have the href. The href basically in the link tag and other tags basically just points to reference. It points to something else. So in this case, I'm pointing to a file that's in a subfolder here on my desktop. So we have the HTML tag, the head, the body, and uh, HTML element is made up of an opening and close tag, and an element can have attributes. And attributes are properties that describe or tell the element what to do. And that's it. That's all HTML is. It's made up of those types of entities. So that's it for today. We're out of time. I just wanted to give a quick overview of these tags you've already entered into the document. In our next lesson, we're going to go over some metadata elements. We'll probably have two or, two or three different videos describing one or two different uh, elements you can add into your header. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, click that like button and click on that bell. Uh, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear your input. If you have questions, leave us a comment. Uh, constructive criticism. Hey, we're here for you. We want to help you learn how to program. So thank you very much. See you next time.